Dinner is served. <laughs> This looks like an excellent hiding place. I don't think he'll be a bother anymore. See the goods. Metal eating sticks for my trip to the Orient. Rare, exotic, moderately priced. How much? One shiny gold coin. Are you interested? I'll take it. Sold to the boy in the sparkling turban. There ain't no wares, no wares. We are sold out. Nothing like a hard day's work. Goodbye. Pasta la vista, you meatball. Goblins love stories, especially fairy tales, and they always wanted to hear more. Well, I love stories too, Grandpa. As do I, but the goblins were obsessed with them. They couldn't just enjoy their stories like you or me. They based their whole lives around them, collecting and hoarding everything they could from their treasured tales, even if it meant stealing. Oh, 
Be careful I don't get caught with this. You did good, Graham. Yeah, but there's two goblins left. Oh, I know. And for some reason, they won't come near the bars anymore. Do you blame them? Go find me a long handle for this blade. Let's see them hide from that. Um... I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Ever hear of killing them with kindness? Kindness? Huh. Never heard of that weapon. All right. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Hey, stop moving and let me poke you. Get over here. With kindness. Ugh. Fine. Oh, I am so sorry, little goblin. Really, I didn't mean it. Yes, you. I've been a big pain in the rear, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. Very impressive. You're so chiseled. Blech. I can't. Keep going. Would you like a hug? <laughs> there, there. Isn't this just lovely? We are hugging, and hugs are fun. See, it's not so bad. <laughs> Sorry, Graham. I am just not the cuddling type. <laughs> So many were relying on me. I still didn't have a plan. I went to sleep unsure of the decisions I had made, and the ones I would have to make tomorrow. 